Unpack each container, verify that all parts are available while also checking for damage. If damage is found or parts are missing, file a claim with the commercial carrier and notify GoPhoton customer service. Save the damaged cartons for inspection by the carrier. For bonding of the chassis, please follow your approved company procedures. Identify the location on the frame where the chassis will be installed. Mount the chassis with four screws in the designated mounting location. Mount the slack storage hanger arm on both sides of the front of the chassis. Move to the rear of the frame to install the required trunk cables. When installing LC or SC trunk cables, open the rear door of the chassis. Identify the first cassette in which the cables will be installed. Remove the cassette from the chassis and remove the lid to expose the rear plane of the connector bulkhead within the cassette. Remove the rear arm and the white sleeve from the cassette. Remove the dust caps from the rear LC or SC adapters. Be sure to use your company's standard procedure for cleaning connectors. Insert the fan out portion of the cable through the rear of the cassette and plug each LC or SC connector into each rear adapter. Adapters are numbered 1 through 24 for LC connectors and 1 through 12 for SC connectors. This is from right to left when looking from the rear of the chassis. For right side cassettes, cables will enter from the right cable entry slot. For left side cassettes, cables will enter from the left cable entry slot. To insert connectors into the adapters, simply push horizontally on the housing of the connector until it is fully seated in the adapter. An audible click will be heard when it is properly inserted. Gather all of the loose jumpers with your hands in line with the connectors. Gradually shift the collection point for the bundle towards the bend limiter. Route the bundle around the outer portion of the bend limiter towards the white cable sleeve and insert it into the sock sleeve. Pull the cable insertion clip along the sleeve until the bundle is inserted fully inside. Reinstall the rear cassette arm and sleeve into the cassette. Reinstall the cassette cover while ensuring no pinching of the cables. Gently push the cassette back into the chassis. Repeat the process for each additional cassette being installed. Close the rear chassis door and route the sleeve through the slot at the rear of the chassis. Move to the front of the chassis, open the chassis door and partially remove each cassette. Open the lid of the cassette and remove the protective packaging foam. Close the lid for each cassette, push it back into place and close the chassis door. This completes the installation of the Peacock 1RU chassis with rear LC or SC trunk cables.